Exodus 32, 15 through 26. Moses turned around and came down from the mountain, carrying the two tablets of the testimony. The tablets were written on both sides, front and back. God made the tablets, and God wrote the tablets, engraved them. When Joshua heard the sound of the people shouting noisily, he said to Moses, That's the sound of war in the camp. But Moses said, Those aren't songs of victory, and those aren't songs of defeat. I hear songs of people throwing a party. And that's what it was. When Moses came near to the camp and saw the calf and the people dancing, his anger flared. He threw down the tablets and smashed them to pieces at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made, melted it down with fire, pulverized it to powder, then scattered it on the water and made the Israelites drink it. Moses said to Aaron, What on earth did these people ever do to you that you involved them in this huge sin? Aaron said, Master, don't be angry. You know this people and how set on evil they are. They said to us, Make us gods who will lead us. This Moses, the man who brought us out of Egypt, we don't know what's happened to him. So I said, Who is gold? And they took off their jewelry and gave it to me. I threw it in the fire and out came this calf. Moses saw that the people were simply running wild. Aaron had let them run wild, disgracing themselves before their enemies. He took up a position at the entrance to the camp and said, Whoever is on God's side, join me. All the Levites stepped up. Numbers 13, 1 through 3, and 16 through 21. God spoke to Moses, Send men to scout out the country of Canaan that I am giving to the people of Israel. Send one man from each ancestral tribe, each one a tried and true leader in the tribe. So Moses sent them off from the wilderness of Paran at the command of God. All of them were leaders in Israel, one from each tribe. Moses gave Hoshea, meaning salvation, son of Nun, a new name, Joshua, meaning God saves. When Moses sent them off to scout out Canaan, he said, Go up through the Negev and then into the hill country. Look the land over. See what it is like. Assess the people. Are they strong or weak? Are there few or many? Observe the land. Is it pleasant or harsh? Describe the towns where they live. Are they open camps or fortified with walls? And the soil. Is it fertile or barren? Are there forests? and try to bring back a sample of the produce that grows there. This is the season for the first ripe grapes. With that, they were on their way.